Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick, and the big news today is, okay, I still can't believe this one, okay, not that the Amazon um, stock is tanking, but because of its, its, its intention or talks about buying the post office, yeah, buying the U.S. post office, Amazon is talking about that, whoa. I think some heads are spinning. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Yeah, and it's all over for the Republicans. Well, according to the butt kissers this morning, including one that's basically all over Fox News, the Democrats already control the Senate, and they're on the verge of a supermajority in the Senate because, you know, what does Herbie Daddy said? He said because the uh, Obamacare is an overwhelming success, even though the president won't give you any real figures, and if he gives you figures, they basically, oh, what did he say? The site will do 50,000 a day, yet Obama says it does 150,000 a day. Mm -hmm. the, they have not given you one figure of people who have actually signed up, How and oh, what do they do also? They give you a 90-day grace period to pay your bill. Mm -hmm. And then also... They're, you know, with the supermajority, because they said most of the uh, Republicans all over the United States are being turned out because of the demand to keep a Democratic government, because we have never been more prosperous or safer than we have been in the history of our nation under a Democratic Party. No, the whole world hates us and the country's broke. Hmm, and it's all over for cheerleaders. Yeah, God, yeah. I mean, they they decided they want to unionize also. So what? Happened? They're going to court to order the Buffalo Bills to keep the to to do not shut down the football. Uh, shut. This is a great thing. If you don't want to have the people working for you, you don't have to hire them. That's the problem with unions. My father came back from World War II, and he was uh, working had a job at the J. Arthur Rank Company. They decided to go on strike to for. Uh, to get higher wages to J.R. Arthur Rank, he shut the company down and moved back to went back to England. All of them lost their jobs. As is after the war is over, when there's not enough jobs to go around, they decided to strike. That doesn't sound real smart. Now, this is what they're doing here. These are people. Well, you know, they can't replace us as easy as they think. They're no intend to replace them. They no longer gonna fill the cheerleading team. The same as the day a major college of which the football team voted in a secret ballot to become unionized, canceled the football program. Mm -hmm. This is what's going to happen because you can't just union. Okay, the rules are thumb. They're college athletics. You have to equal. You, you have to do it equal across the board, which means the women's programs have to get the same provisions. For instance, if you're giving a foot, college football player a forty thousand dollar a year stipend, that means the uh, the people on the gymnastics team have to get the same thing. So. And France's oldest nuclear plant shut down after the incident, but no danger posed. Well, what's happening is that, that you have a socialist head of state who thinks that he wants to go green in a country that can't possibly go green. <laughs> you ever seen most of the weather in France? It sucks. <laughs> Look at World War II, folks. The weather was always miserable. And fuels from corn waste not better than gas when it comes to global warming. Okay, we're going to try it this way. When they first put ethanol in gas, they warned you in Los Angeles you could not put ethanol in your car because of the pollution it caused. Now all of a sudden, the same people that said it was causing pollution are trying to say, well, it saves money. No, it basically is a, it was a pollutant then, it's still a pollutant now, and it's actually a worse pollutant than the pollutant because it's poisonous also. Oh, it is? Yeah. From ethanol? From ethanol is poisonous. It's, hazardous. it's a health hazard. Oh, my God. Yeah, and they've known it. They always knew it. Okay, I'm older than the little girl is, and I can remember when they first had the warnings that you use ethanol at your own risk because it is not only a pollutant, it is hazardous to your health because it produces toxins into the air. So. And Californians overwhelmingly approved new education standards poll. Yeah, basically more union workers, more schools, and, less and, less and, and lower standards for graduation. Uh, I can remember at a time, I'm going to put it this way, when I went to school in California, I had to learn Latin, German, and French. There was a requirement to graduate. I also had to do, I also had to learn uh, you know, uh, regular mathematics, algebra, and trigonometry, and geometry. Those were requirements. Isn't that amazing? Nowadays, if you can sign your name with your, an X with your foot, you can graduate in California. And Texas Republicans may want to cool the anti-Obama land grab talk. Uh, I 
wouldn't think so because they're grabbing Texans land. Okay, uh, you've been on the property, your family's been on the property for a hundred years, and all of a sudden the government says, well, it belongs to us. Mm -hmm. Now, um, um, uh, yeah, like they, that's not the wisest thing to do because it's what they said. They're cooling it because, well, they said, okay, uh, this is what they, they got what the governor said. Well, if they send 10,000 soldiers in, we'll send a Texas Ranger because anybody that Obama stands said we send to Texas would probably pee in their pants the instant they saw a man stand up to them. And ma I know. marijuana fans pack the 420 event. Yeah, I mean, this is ridiculous. So Why that, do they call it 420? Because that's, uh, it's, that's, just tw uh, that's uh, it's the, it's the time it was basically created. Basically, it's the thing to celebrate marijuana in all sorts of forms. No, well, there's just irresponsible parents, like in every society, that basically have allowed their kids to get in. The, okay, they said, how much are they allowed for household versus one ounce? Then you tell us how these irresponsible parents let a kid get, get a couple of pounds of marijuana. Mm -hmm. It can't be, and then, I mean, um, there. Uh, well, also, the the EPA is getting ready to ban e-cigarettes unless you're using it as a drug dispenser. Then you can have it. Mm -hmm. And California GOP will stand with sriracha against big government. Well, yeah, you know, that they, they want to shut down the the a plant that makes chili sauce. You know, uh, because oh, it's in Irvingdale. For Christ's sake, there's nothing in Irvingdale but but. It's all. It's. It, but there's great big quarries in Irvingdale. There's not a lot of people in Irvingdale for the... They said it smells at times. It's a food processing plant. It's supposed to smell, but they want to shut them down. Well, and then I heard, saw the stuff that uh, the majority of the complaints were from, like, a couple families. Yeah, that don't live anywhere near the facility. Okay, uh, uh, we both know. We both were in Fresno. We, we, yeah, and that's things we were in Fresno. Yeah, they had to be both at the same time. That's sort of the problem. Uh, remember that when they, they used to let people, the, the vineyards sold off extra land near the vineyards to people, and then the people went to court to have the vineyards shut down because of the smell the vineyards were producing. Well, done. don't get a home near vineyards. Yeah, remember they did the same thing in Selma because of the great facility. Everywhere you have a processing plant, they, they let people move in, which is a stupid mistake, and then they demand, they go to court to shut everything down, so... I know. And driver allegedly tells a boy suffering from seizure to get off the school bus. No, no, okay. I, I'm going to hate to, okay. Herbie Daddy says, we can't actually tell you something, but we're not supposed to mention the fact that all of the drivers that are in trouble at the moment for things in buses happen to be of one race. Oh, really? Yeah. We, don't, we can't tell you which one because... Actually, I can because I can't. I'm, I happen to be an American Indian, folks. I'm listed on a census as an American Indian, even though I look like this because, you know, it, it happens in life. You know, my mother was short and little, you know, short and little type, but I can God. But um, they happen to be color, of color. And I can't tell you which color. They could have been black, brown, or yellow. But they happen to be all of the very same race that are being horses' asses because they're entitled. Oh, God. And the Democrats can win on Obamacare. No, they can't. It's, they said that the, the, I, I, one, of the, one of the senior members of the House of Representatives from Massachusetts says the president will not give one single figure to substantiate anything he says, yet every three days he comes out and gives us a figure that's a half a million higher than before. He said right now, he said by election time, half the people in the United States will be covered even if they're not covered. Mm -hmm. and, and like I said, and his latest plan is to give, uh, you know, give them 90 days to come up with the, the United States government will foot the bill. You give them 90 days to pay their premium. That's the first premium. Then you give them another 90 days for the next one. That's not how business works. And Elon Musk missile plans blowing up. Oh yeah, because he wants to, he basically wants to um, use what amount to guided missiles to transport people back and forth from space. To, you know, back, you know, from here to space and back. No, because there is a law that says you cannot, you, you cannot put a guidance system in a missile within the borders of the United States. That's been the law, and it's not changing. But the company, basically, the uh, uh, company, the company of SpaceX that supplies the stuff to the space platform, is, went to court saying the law is very specific. We had to go through years. Of work in order to get in order to pass all the legislation, it said this guy 
is a, he's a, he, he worships the ground that one of the other leaders in the world that we don't get along with walk on. And he's a Russian, folks. Mm -hmm. he, he said, you want to put a guided missile in the hands of a guy that's an immigrant from a country that no one can trust? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, okay, here's a good one. That if your state is continuing to lose people at a record rate, how in the world can you tell people that you're creating the second most jobs in the United States at the same time? Thank <laughs> you.